Oh, <laughs> now just so you know, <laughs> it's super purified water. Yes, it's probably very useful for hydrating lime. Yes. And it produces more electricity than it uses, <laughs> reducing your fist, your, your, it reduces the fixed utility costs <laughs> of the lime manufacturing. Yes. Now I'll give you a good deal. Um, I'll build you a kiln. Yes. <laughs> or a, a water supply system. Right. <laughs> reducing the manufacturing costs of lime. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I think I'm going to have enough money to support my sons. Yes. As soon as this state, uh -huh, every state in the United States enforces my rights. Yes. <laughs> now, this was very exciting. Look at new skyscraper construction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, when construction on Seattle's Rainier Square Tower tops out. Yes. In the fall of 2019. It should be any day now. Yes, it should. Mm -hmm. It's August. <laughs> In the next few months, we're going to see the topping out of the new skyscraper construction. Yeah. Now, it will be the city's second tallest building, uh -huh, and the only one shaped like a high-heeled boot. Mm -hmm. Now, what is really innovative, the builders, uh -huh, the revolutionary proof of concept for steel wall core technology supporting uh, the 58 purportedly earthquake resistant stories. The new core construction goes up in half the time of traditional reinforced concrete. Yep. And consists of two half inch steel plates a story tall. Yes. So these are half inch plates that go up approximately 10 feet. Yes. And uh, they go all the way along the wall. Yeah. And then. They are spaced two feet apart, right? <laughs> Connected with rods running between them. So they have these little rods that go between them. Yes. And they're made out of steel. Yeah. <laughs> they're a steel product that makes them their steel. <laughs> now, <laughs> concrete is then poured into the two foot gap <laughs> with the steel acting as permanent forms. Yes. Now, when I read about how innovative this was, <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know what, isn't that good that nobody wanted to do this, right? But now they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Ron Clemensic, yes, CEO of Magnuson Clemensic and Associates, yeah, the design firm that developed the steel core walls, yeah, <laughs> the steel walls cost the same but go up in about a day. Mm -hmm. This this will cut the Rainier Square Tower's build time from 22 to 13 months. Yes. And uh, has construction world watching and waiting to see if the claims are true, says Clemensic. Yes. Nobody wanted to be the first to use this. Mm -hmm. Took us 13 years to find a client with the gumption to be able to do it. Yes. Isn't that nice right there? Isn't that nice right there? <laughs> now, let's say I had a large amount of electricity. <coughs> Everything's made of steel. Yes. I could amp the whole building. That probably was not the intent of the design of it. But what if I could use compressed high density uh, uh, recycled garbage? Yes. Approximately 2,500 degrees. Yes. Half the weight of steel. Yes. And then I do the same design mm -hmm, of putting rods between the two pieces of it, 24 inches apart. Yeah. And um, instead of it being steel, yes, it's a kind of plastic product that you can drill into. Yes, it's very, very hard. Yes, you can't really nail into it. No, you can't. Mm -mm. But what it does, it reduces the infrastructure weight by half as much as using steel. Now, for a lot of those in skyscraper construction, yes, I'd say that you're obstructing me from manufacturing a very new, innovative building product, yes, that can be used just like steel, yes, because the steel mm -hmm. uh, uh, acts as permanent forms, yes. Instead of forming the concrete and then removing the forms, yes, the steel acts as per permanent forms, mm -hmm. Now, when we look at the total amount of steel for a half inch, yes, 10 feet tall, mm -hmm. and let's say uh, three or 400 feet long, yes, 
that is going to be in this building. I mean, it's very, very well constructed when you think about it. Right. <laughs> There's a lot of steel in that building. This sure is. <laughs> that thing is earthquake proof. It's not coming down. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> but what if I could reduce the... I would say, yes, that the same permanent forms that they're using in the building of the Rainier Square, yes. I could build the same forms, yes, out of garbage, yes, that would have the same strength as the steel, yes, but would be half the weight. And it can do something that steel can't. It is possible to drill into it, but it is a very hard substance. Now, I'd like to know uh, this gumption that the client had. Yes. I think using this same design. Yes. Of the permanent form made from steel. Yes. I could sell this to build. <laughs>